Hello everyone. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTKB Foundation Examination and we are in Chapter 4. So, welcome to the Chapter 4. We'll be looking into the test design techniques which are going to help you to minimize your test cases. So, finally, this story started when we learned about the principle exhaustive testing is impossible where the principle of testing says that it's not so easy to create all possible combinations of inputs and test them. So, you know, obviously, another smart person like you came back with a question that, okay, then no matter, we don't create all possible test cases, but how do we define the desired number of test cases on what basis? Then the person who created the principle came back with a solution stating that the test design techniques would be one of the things which will help you to define the desired number of test cases. Or I can say the objective of these techniques are to minimize test cases and achieve maximum coverage. So it's just simple to understand when I say minimize the number of test cases is to say that instead of creating 40 test cases for a particular scenario to be validated, you can do it with maybe four or five test cases, which would be giving you the same coverage what you would get with 40. But obviously, uh, there would be a tolerance or there would be a consideration that what confidence I achieve by executing 40 test cases on the same scenario, I won't achieve it with four test cases. So we do have certain pros and cons involved, but we will see how these techniques are still beneficial compared to executing 40 test cases and can help you to achieve that certain level of confidence as well. So before that, we are into the topic two now. In this tutorial 4.2, we'll be talking about the different categories of test design techniques and we'll be looking into the different techniques from each category which we'll be covering in foundation. We do have more techniques as a part of advanced level, but not now in the foundation. So let's look into the techniques which we have got. So the very first category is specification based techniques at K3. So it is also known as requirement based techniques or black box technique te testing techniques where these synonyms are very important. Sometimes they can use any of these terms. I've been telling you in all my tutorials that all the synonyms are equally important. The reason ISTQB gives you synonyms is just to make use of it. So instead of using specification based, maybe they can say requirement based or maybe they can say black box techniques. Then you must be able to relate these things and say, okay, fine. They are actually meaning the same. So they can use any of these terms just remember that these are the synonyms. So how specification based techniques work? Obviously it are it is when you say black box techniques, you know now that black box techniques are used by testers at the front end. So obviously requires uh, certain characteristics like uh, detail and clear requirements are the source of information to prepare the test cases for uh, specification based techniques. So you need to have clear set of requirements and obviously it is to minimize the test cases with maximum coverage. So the objective of techniques are basically to minimize the test cases with maximum coverage. So, at, you know, when you move into the techniques, we will see that how it can help you to minimize test cases. And finally, the test cases are basically derived from the models and the specification. So when we use the term models here, it is about the business model, the control flow diagrams, the UMLs and so on, which are being created as a part of the specification and also maybe directly specifications can be used or requirements can be used to derive the test cases. We'll be having five techniques to undergo here where equivalence partition is one, boundary value analysis is another, state transition testing is one more, decision table testing is going to add another you know, different technique and finally the use case testing. But if you see a use case testing is marked with K2, that means it does not require any kind of apply skills. It will be just to understand that what is use case testing. So the other four would require certain skills to understand the scenario. Beyond that, you need to apply the technique and get the right answer. Whereas in, K, you know, in the use case testing, it's just to understand you don't really have to apply it. But this technique, use case testing, is at apply in the advanced level. So nothing to worry now. Moving to the next one, structure-based techniques. Uh, we have got, uh, again, which is also called as white box testing techniques, where you know this from the chapter two. The characteristics of structure-based techniques uh, involves understanding of internal structure, 
when we say internal structure it basically means the code and the design is the source for deriving the test cases or preparing the test cases for so basically the test data is what we basically derive from here and then based on that we prepare the test cases so this time in white box testing we call it as to minimize the test cases with 100 percent coverage so here we say that it's not limited to maximum coverage either you either achieve zero or 100 so you know you will be having minimum number of test cases with 100 percent coverage on a particular scenario and again we'll be looking into that when we start working with it and finally the test cases are basically derived from codes and design whereas for specification base it is from the models and the specification so these points are very important to answer certain questions which are theory based in the examination from this techniques chapter as well so please stick to these points the two techniques we'll be having from white box testing techniques to understand is statement testing and coverage where we can call it as either statement testing or statement coverage and the second technique is decision testing and coverage which is also known as like decision testing or decision coverage so we do have a lot more to elaborate on these techniques but we'll be looking into that in more details when we come to each one of them let's look into the third category and the final category to understand from this section is experience based technique so as the name suggests experience based technique the only source of information for us to uh, run certain um, you know apply these techniques are your you know the past experience of the testers or the managers and the knowledge of typical defect so here these techniques basically implement not any kind of calculation but involves uh, understanding of the similar projects in the previous days or past years what you have executed and based on that you try to uh, predict that what are the areas where you can think the defects are possibly high or maybe you know defect clusterings are existing and based on that you can elaborate more and you know you can encounter such failures to find defects and fix them to add coverage to existing coverage explore defect clustering so the only objective of this thing is to add better coverage to it over the formal techniques like a white box and black box and obviously explore defect clustering which be one of the another objective test cases are generally derived from the past experience and knowledge of defects but it is limited to error guessing error guessing makes use of test cases whereas exploratory testing does not make use of it so we have two techniques to understand from this chapter we have error guessing which is at k2 and exploratory testing which is at k2 again so here again if you see k2 and k2 that means it is not going to have any kind of apply like you don't have any calculations involved but you do have you know understanding to be taken care of so you will be expecting a theoretical based question compared to a calculation based question whereas in the previous one you will be uh, in a white box testing you will be having it at k4 which means analyze the only topic in the entire syllabus which is at k4 that is just to make sure that you know that it is uh, you will be given with a pseudo code and from the pseudo code you need to apply the technique and from applying the technique you need to still analyze and then get the right answer because we'll see what that analyze is all about so that's the small trick of istqb so stay tuned for that so we'll be having the following tutorials on each technique one after the other i'm going to break the tutorial into multiple ones just to make you understand that you concentrate on one technique at a time so i'm not going to club it together though the topic has all the techniques in one topic i'm going to explore it and break it into different tutorials so stick to that and stay tuned for upcoming videos so you have any clarifications about other techniques why we are not covering them here it is just that the syllabus does not demand us to discuss that right now so we'll be covering them whenever wherever it comes into picture so as of now we have only nine techniques to undergo and understand from the examination perspective beyond that you are free to put any of your queries in the comment box below to ask me any questions till then stay tuned and do have queries to be mentioned below this is all for now we have more videos coming up on the upcoming tutorials and also on the upcoming chapters of this uh, tutorial so stay tuned for more videos do hit the bell icon for getting notified about the 
latest videos and in case you have not subscribed to the channel please do subscribe as early as possible because we'll be having more videos about technologies and testing coming up back after this right after this so uh, stay tuned and uh, till then enjoy learning happy learning take care